As you can imagine with screen time and web filtering on your child's devices, there are times when you need to make an exception to your rules on the fly. If your child was unexpectedly blocked from an app or site, this may look like an app or site not loading, not sending messages, or not refreshing. The good news is the dashboard has tools available to quickly allow or block sites and apps. In this example, let's say I need to adjust Akita's rules. I can tell that Akita's schedule is currently applying school time rules by looking at the Apple icon. I can also tell by clicking on screen time. To add an exception, I suggest starting by tapping into apps and websites here. You can use the search bar at the top to find what you're looking to allow or block on the fly. Alternatively, you can type in a URL like ESPN.com to see what category it's under in our system. Our categories cover thousands, if not millions of apps and sites. In this example, I can tell that ESPN.com is categorized under sports and hobbies. So right now it's being allowed because sports and hobbies is allowed. If I want to differentiate ESPN from my general rules for sports and hobbies, I can either look for an ESPN toggle, in this case I don't see one, or I can add the ESPN.com site as an exception. Here we can add any site to be blocked or allowed by typing in website.com. I can even see recently blocked activity and allow the site in question that way as well. Just note that you'll be a little more successful leaving out the WW or the HTTPS and just typing in website.com or whatever it may be. If your kid has a bark phone, you may be experiencing an unexpected block because of time limits you've set. Let's check. Go back to the Screen Time homepage and scroll down to time limits. First, check to see if there's an all apps time limit. This is for setting a time limit for all phone use per day. Once that is hit, all apps on the phone besides the dialer get grayed out. In our example, your child is only being unexpectedly blocked from the ESPN app. Let's look at the other time limits. Here, we can see the category limits I've set as well as some specific app time limits. Now, while I don't see a specific app time limit for ESPN, I know that it's categorized under sports and hobbies. If the sports and hobbies category has a time limit and your child spent a lot of time on the ESPN app today, more than 30 minutes, that would explain why their ESPN app is currently blocked. But the good news is you can make a quick time extension by clicking on that time limit. You can also add or remove limits for specific apps or general categories at any time. And also, it may take a few minutes for changes to take effect. Clearing the browser cache or restarting the device can help speed that along. And that's it for my guide on entering exceptions into Bark. For more videos, check out our playlist. You can also reach out to us at help at bark.us.